Okay, so Anakin was only 22 when he turned to the dark side. This means there was almost no way Anakin could learn the power that took Qui-Gon around 10 years to learn because in the Clone Wars, the deceased Qui-Gon told Obi-Wan he was unable to show himself because his training was incomplete. Qui-Gon was only heard by Obi-Wan as a disembodied voice. However, in the spiritual known as Mortis, which acted as a conduct for the Force, Kenobi was finally able to see his master. Qui-Gon told Yoda to complete what he could not and continue to learn more about the Force. By the time of Revenge of the Sith, Yoda announced that Qui-Gon learned the path to immortality, even though Qui-Gon had been dead for over a decade. Now Qui-Gon was a lot wiser in the Force than Anakin, the secrets Qui-Gon Jinn unlocked allowed him to manifest himself in an almost solid form. Similar to Qui-Gon, Anakin may have completed his training after death, because in Star Wars, death in the physical world is not necessarily meant the end. So what if the Anakin we see in Ahsoka is the form of Anakin that learned how to display a spiritual self like we see at the end of Return of the Jedi? He may even have been assisted by Qui-Gon. Now you might be thinking a couple of things, if Anakin can do this, why would all the Jedi not learn this power after death? But Anakin isn't any Jedi, he is, I mean, he's the chosen one with a Medichlorian count between anywhere between 25 and 40,000. The second thing you might be thinking is the world between worlds doesn't really work like that. Well, that's what we know of. Even Dave Filoni doesn't really know what the true potential of the world between worlds is. 